Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review. Well, Bonacle playset review in this case. Well, and this one's on the Visorak Battle Round from 2005. And also, I did review play most of the Bonacle playsets in the Bonacle slot of, of Throwback Thursday as well. Gonna do, which I am doing here yet again. So, enjoy. So, on the front of the box here, we have the a Bonk logo with Metro Nui above it and Viserac Battle Round there and a little choking hazard and picture of the whole set in action going down one of the bridges from the Coliseum of that. And then Bonk.com Lego logo and recommended ages is 7 to 16. Set number 8757 has 189 pieces. Then flip to the back side is. We do have another position of the set and all the Toa Hadika minifigs included and a little alternate build for the set which they oftentimes did well from like the late 70s until this time mid to late 2000s so, so of course and how the mini Viserax glow in the dark and some of the features of it and, uh, and now onto the manual oh, which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. Front page of which, realistic picture of the set and all the Hordika minifigs included. On the back, uh, Adford Lego Shop at Home. And then Adford Lego Club. And then advertisement for the Bonk 3 movie. And then large advertisement of Bonkle.com and also, add for all the Tohardika and Visorax, and then advertisement of the, and then also the other two big playsets of which, which, this of which, next, next, Throwback Thursday, and this of which, the next two Throwback Thursdays after, of course. And then picture it again, all the features of it, and the last building steps. Now, as for the minifigs, which I'll show in pairs, is as for these two. As for these two, of which being Vakama and Wenua, which, as you can see, which two of which, which go, which face to the left of them. And as you see, the detailing quite nicely done. For that. Even though it doesn't, you know, it doesn't seem to well capture the actual set of which, but except for the head and chest, of course. But instead, the two separate weapons are the long staffs of which. But however, when it was here, was reused on some of the playsets in the following year, of course. And then, and of course, these figs, which are one solid piece, but. However, the minifigs in the other playsets the following two years were in separate pieces and posable, of course. So, of course, this is which kind of a sign of times where they changed up eventually. Then backside, which a little bit of a sculpting to them. Well, for the Rituka spinner kind of area for that. And that is it with these two. And then next pair of which being Matau and Nuju, well, uh, which facing to the right shoulder, so, uh, which, and of course both from which closely resembling the original uh, sets of them, and then the uh, staff pieces also unique to that. And then the back side, which same thing as the rest. Then. And then last of which is a uh, Nokama and Odiwa, which also unique staff pieces, and of course facing forwards for that, and kind of oddly sculpt added for Odiwa here, unlike Nokama's, which not sure why, but whatever. And however, all the mini these mini figs didn't come included in the. Uh, other three playsets which so they which not at all exclusive or anything although it would be nice if 
of which kind of drop a few things for that. So there, so there would be some different you see throughout the four play sets for that. Even though they did that with the following couple of years, well, since they were a single piece, that is this is probably how, why they were in all the sets. You know, for the other sets, and got kind of did some exclusive ones for the app. And that's about it with that. Then, as for uh, what I'm only going to show is three of these mini visceracks, because the other three, because the rest of which are sort of like a part of the build, of course. So, of course, they which in black, uh, which dual molded with uh, glow in the dark. Which, and of course, they which there are pinchers of which are all little different very vari variations to them. And of course, matching some of the actual sets for that. And, and however, the uh, center parts of which can kind of clip into Lego string for that. And then the main feature is, and also they do have a little a pinhole in the, on top. Is however the main feature is if you push on the butt and it flings forward for that. Which same with the jumpers in the Invasion from Below line of Hero Factory that also did the. Yeah. And now on to the Viserac Battle Ram itself. Which kind of worked. Which, as you can see, kind of large, like for the price point of $30 that it was, this was a, which a quite good for that price point, and still a sign of the times where it got something large and cool for a cheap price for that. Like, even if it has a bit of construction pieces into it, which they did in most uh, themes down the line with CCBS, of course. So now, as for the front part of which, do you get the rest of the mini Viserax here, but two of which are on chains, and two of which, uh, hang on, uh, sorry, two of which are on a uh, Lego string with stud kind of pieces. Is even though this green of which kind of represents the webs for that, which if you get enough of these uh, string pieces can make a full actual Viserac web diorama, well, in mini scale if you wanted, but yeah. But as for this headpiece of which, which the whole thing, same as Viser as the Viserac key rack green one, it's a head back piece, but in gold, oh, which is nice to see there. And also a pair of uh, castle spears uh, for the front part for that. And then, of course, another mini Viserac on top for that. And then, as for the rest of this part of which, which is, has a few of these simple Technic bricks down below, just stacked with plates. Kind of reminiscent of some of the Knight's Kingdom sets from this time. And then, with a few 1x2x5 uh, bricks going upwards and backside of which, just a few by one jagged slopes also doing the same for that. But on the sides of which have kind of pins holding these uh, little technique uh, curved beams holding rocky limbs in blue, dark blue and holding uh, the viscerac foot pieces in dark blue for that. All really kind of represented walking down or a horse. And also top ones have some more uh, castle spear pieces there. And then also these light or Takamuva light blades on top as extra detailing. And then this front part of which, which has this archway here and also a, a Matanui uh, headpiece, but in gold. Of which this is which one of the only times we ever get to see this piece in the Metronui line, which was uh, which for this time, but along with the Bala Metronui set. Or the other couple playsets that also did so. So, and this which one of the last times you ever see this headpiece in all of Bonacle, of course. And then above of which is this a uh, castle top tower kind of piece for that, like we see in some earlier castle sets, but in dark blue. Great to see here. 
that intercourse plenty of open space needs to uh, stand mini figs onto if you wanted and then for the top part of which which is this little catapult here made of a few various technic pieces and also a few hybrid system bricks behind and also to swivel back forth since it's on a hinge piece and of course leading up to this pohatuduva uh, claw piece it's with a little pin on the back for them. and what you get is two of these little rock pieces like we saw with Pohatu Mata in the 2001 er kind of range for that but it's in gray and trans orange represented uh, flaming of course and of course you can like put it on there and then pull this back and oh whoops sorry about the noise uh, let me get a better just direct of it you can like pull it back and let it fly off so and of course done quite powerfully for that so quite fun feature and now on to the other fun feature with this set is that as you see there's some technique beams going through it and hanging down you can like pull push on this part and let it like ram into stuff or into walls for that since it's kind of a battering ram for that and of course, we've probably seen features like that in most castle sets. That's pretty, yeah. And, and of course, nice to see here then. And so now, on to the final work. Okay, so now on to the final verdict. Overall, I think this was a pretty good, quite good playset for Bonacle, of course. Like, kind of a good cheap way to get all the Tohordika minifigs and pretty much anything out of a Bonacle playset in a kind of smallish, cheap set. Like, for the price point that it was back in the day, $30, of which, quite good for how it is. And you, but, of course, got plenty of good playability for that. And... Also, this set does act as a good parts pack of dark blue to for both Bonacle and System Mocking if you wanted. It, and whereas for inflation, kind of puts that at, at probably $45 today. Well, even though still kind of good for how it is. But, and even though, for whereas for the uh, piece counter, which for like 189 pieces, is probably why it got to be kind of cheap for that. for that. And also for like a lot of bigger, big pieces, which is what a common Lego trend at the time. So this kind of, still kind of a sign of the times, but yeah. And so now, if any of you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who are still looking to get this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Brooklyn, Mercari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.